Hey everyone, it's Jake here. Welcome to another stock video. We're going to take a look at ticker symbol MEGL. Uh, I'm going to call this Meagle. Sounds like Meagle. You know, uh, in Final Fantasy, there's uh, these little white creatures called uh, Moogle. And you have Google. So maybe we can just do Meagle for that MEGL. Okay, so Magic Empire Global. Uh, there's so many like treasure global and everything like that, right? Uh, something with that, but uh, similar to HKD type of play, except this has a lot more liquidity. And HKD was doing like 500,000 shares. This is doing 75 billion shares. But again, HKD was a few thousand dollars, right? At its peak, 2,000 something, right? So uh, let's see what goes on here. So uh, Migo, very good uh, volume coming in today. 75 million, average volume of 6.3 million. So almost uh, over 10x. Uh, very, very good. Just lots of uh, volatility. This is a newer stock, you know, um, after the uh, IPO and whatnot. So kind of just riding the uh, momentum wave, I mean, um, for myself, intraday, uh, kind of just uh, using a combination of uh, exponential moving average using the EMAs uh, to move up 13 and 21, and then following along with uh, uh, Heiken Ashi, maybe on the uh, one minute, and then trying to look for a strength place to try to pick up some trades. For example, one of the better trades is the volume usually comes in in the morning, uh, a ton of green volume here. So as you can also see, the price doesn't really break through the EMA. So it was easy to find your entries, right? Once the volume started coming in, you get in this area here, and then you kind of see, uh, you know, the candles on the Heiken Ashi start to fade out, turn red, right? If you did it this way, that's a really good trade, uh, about $11 and then outs at uh, 16. Uh, this is a one minute chart. So this literally happens in like 30 minutes. Uh, very, very fast trade. You can see the trades later on in the day don't move uh, quite as fast because there's not as much volume as there are there is in the beginning day of the trading. Uh, but uh, all in all, right, uh, there was some uh, in power hour here as well, as you can see, continuous uh, back to the uh, back to the upside, but we can see that uh, clear resistance coming in here uh, at the level here. We'll call that about 1780. So tomorrow we'll see if this breaks uh, over 18 here and continues up. Right now it's at 1928 already. So maybe we're looking north of 20 uh, tomorrow, right, to see if it can uh, continue up. I mean, it did uh, drop off quite a bit from the uh, from the beginning over here. So. Uh, we'll kind of see uh, what the next level uh, takes us to uh, if we move this up a little bit. Uh, let's see here. There's another level here up actually just over 20. So that makes sense why uh, why the price is actually trending this way. And uh, after hours, you can see there was a level here around 19, uh, 1972 and uh, right here. And uh, that's actually... Uh, why you know after hours are trending right around that mark. So we'll see how it goes uh for uh uh for MEGL here tomorrow to see if uh 20 does break. Uh but right now it's still very strong. 115%, only 115% to the upside during the day and another 8.29% uh uh after hours. You know what? I'm gonna pull this actually up on uh Weibo here and we'll take a look to see if we get a better shot uh just at the relationships. There's actually a gap fill over here. So let's see what that level is. 87, I, I, it's, it's a bit further away from the stock, right? So uh, we'll look for another level here. We got that $20 level. So I think that's down around here. Yeah, about 20, just over 21 there. So we'll see if that breaks, uh, breaks to more around that 21 mark there. And then if you get past that mark, you're looking at about 33. Uh, we'll set that for now. I, I know this swing went, you know, double today, right? But just uh, to kind of keep in mind the next uh, maybe possible targets here, uh, 47 and then all the way for the gap fill at about 87. So we'll see how this uh, moves here for uh, MEGL. All right, thanks again for watching. Have a good one. Cheers.